As with all major decisions, the superintendent and school board make, there are important financial and operational considerations that must be addressed. First is transportation. The Seattle School District staggers bus schedules to transport children in the most efficient way possible. That means most buses start early and run one to three routes. To run efficiently, our district tries to equally balance out the district's provided transportation between three routing tiers. Most of the district's traditional or comprehensive high schools are part of Tier 1 routing and start at 7.50 in the morning and end at 2.20 in the afternoon. Although eight of the comprehensive high schools are in Tier 1, two high schools are in Tier 2 and start school at 8.40. The district also has non-comprehensive or non-traditional high schools that have a variety of schedules that need to be considered. Middle schools are all part of Tier 1 and start at 7.50 in the morning and end at 2.20 in the afternoon. Elementary and almost all K-8 schools begin school at about 8.40 in Tier 2 or in Tier 3 at approximately 9.30 a.m. Many high school students and some middle school students ride metro transportation. All grade levels have a combination of yellow buses and students who walk, bike, or ride to school in private vehicles. Many people have asked why our high school transportation would be impacted if our high school students ride metro. State and federal law require that the district provide school buses or other district transportation in order to give access to schools and services that meet the educational needs of all students. For example, special education services. There are a number of bell time options being considered which would impact transportation schedules. Some of these options may have little financial impact, while others may incur greater costs. And other operational considerations may be affected with the bell time changes. These considerations include staffing, union agreements, warehouse deliveries, and breakfast and lunch service, all of which could vary in terms of costs. Many districts are considering, or already have, changed bell times to allow students to get more sleep. Fairfax County, Virginia estimated that moving secondary start times would cost them $4.9 million more in transportation. While Denver School District was able to save $750,000 by extending the school day and moving students onto public transportation. Keep in mind our city and our geography is unique to us. We can't assume what has worked or not worked for other districts will work or not work here. And as we consider several options, we understand that there may be a variety of needs and priorities. However, Seattle is a city that overwhelmingly supports education and works to find ways to put students first. Next, your facilitator will provide additional information to aid in your discussion. Thank you for your time and your input in this important decision that will help shape our students' education and their future. Our sleep health really has a global impact on our overall health. So we want to make sure that we measure both sides and that we make the best decision that would benefit the most um, of our children. Everybody needs to be part of that decision because it doesn't just affect the school, it affects everybody who's part of a child's education beyond the school day and in the school day. 